Thank you, Johnny. Um, I'm very conscious of being a white British uh, member of an established church, bringing with me all that entails um, from the position of the Church of England, um, the challenges that we have of history um, in our life and mission and relationships through the um, imperialism and the empire and discrimination of various kinds. Um, so in a sense, as I speak to you, I come with a lot of baggage, um, but I think what I, I really wanted to say is that um, th there was a report done by the Anglican Consultative Council, which is a, a worldwide body for the uh, Anglican Communion, a few years ago called Generous Love. And I think Generous Love, to some extent, uh, sums up what I think is of the essence of, of our, our stance with this. Um, we mirror, we seek to mirror as Christians, God's generous love in all that we do and say. We believe that women and men are made in the image of God and we enjoy the fullness of life in his presence. Um, uh, which uh, many of us speak of as salvation. Now, Christians disagree amongst themselves about how this actually works out in practice. Um, for me, the key starting point is to proclaim that uh, Jesus is the one who shows us God's face, if you like, or God's image most perfectly. Jesus is, what? Jesus is the one who reflects the radiance of God. Uh, Jesus is the pattern of our lives and we seek to follow in his way. So by studying his words in the scriptures, but also in the history and experience of the church, we believe that he teaches us truth which sets us free. And that ultimately, for Christians, leads to um, an experience or a participation, perhaps I should say, in, in his death and resurrection in, in a mysterious manner. But if we wish to share some of these things with others, we need to be very aware that the hallmark of our witness is Christ-like service and humility. Christ-like service and humility. Sadly, this has not always been present in our tradition and in our churches. Again and again, Jesus shared hospitality with those on the margins and those of other traditions and cultures and indeed faiths often with those who were themselves facing some form of discrimination. Samaritans, tax collectors, those on the margins because of their illness. In the culture of that day, that included women as well. If we are true to following him, we should also be those who seek to work with those on the margins, those um, who face discrimination of various kinds. In our particular parish, we are working very hard at the moment to support asylum seekers and refugees who we find living um, in emergency accommodation in local hotels. For us, that's been one of the ways that this has been worked out in practice. Part of the humility though, is to accept we can learn from our brothers and sisters of other faiths, from the truth they have received from their tradition, teaching and revelation. We sometimes talk about the fruit of the spirit in our um, thinking as Christians. Um, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. These words are in the New Testament. And it's not for us to set the limits to where those things are found. Tree is known by its fruit. 
these fruits and qualities are found in all faiths and those who have no faith. So as we encounter them, we know that we encounter God, often in ways that are hidden and out of sight. And when we meet these qualities in our encounter with those of other faiths, we engage with them joyfully and in the spirit and seeking to build up community together. Thank Johnny. <laughs>